What is going on, guys? It's Snorlaxis here, bringing you guys. I am actually not sure. It's been, it's been a little while here. What week that we're on? I think we're on week like six, maybe five. Could be more than that. Could be less. Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, but we are up against Ginger, and Ginger has a very fast and very bulky team. He didn't even bring all his fast stuff, but he has three very fast things. He's got that Whimsicott, that Beedrill, which is Mega, and then Sneasel. And then he brought three of his bulk. He's got that Gudra, which I knew he was going to bring because he was pretty excited at how well it walled my Blacephalon, which I didn't bring. Uh, his Heatran, and then his Primarina, which is like half bulk, half attack. I am bringing here my Thunderous T, Empoleon, Avalug, Megalade, Rhydon, seeing his first match here, and then Meltank. So it's looking at his team here, he really doesn't, like, I mean, obviously Wimscott has uh, defog, but I don't know if he would bring against me or not. I kind of want to just get rocks up and see how he go from there, so I'm just going to start off my Empoleon, see where he goes. So he starts off with the Sneasel, the Sneasel, Sneasel, which is not Weavile, which is where I was looking there. <laughs> um, I mean, he could have, like, low kick or something. I'm relatively defensive, but I honestly don't see why he would stay in against me. I know, obviously, I'm Steel-type. I very potentially could have Flash Cannon or something of the sort. I could even have, like, Brick Break or something and kill him. I don't see him staying in. I can take whatever he throws at me, too. So I'm just going to go for my Rocks. He just throws off a knockoff, gets rid of my Shooka Berry, so that does, that does suck. I would like I would have liked to keep kept my Shooka there, but... Not knowing what uh, he was going to do, that is my best 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 case there is to get some rocks up, get some good damage on his team. There's a couple things weak to rocks there between the Sneasel and the Mega Beedrill. Nothing, uh, everything else is neutral, nothing resists the rocks. So, I'll just fire off a Scald now, there's that low kick. So, I'm at this point really, I mean, I don't need this Empoleon for anything. It literally was just here to set up rocks, obviously he still very much could... Uh, Defog with that Whimsicott, or even potentially, I think my Cathedral might get Defog. I, I honestly can't remember. But I, if he brought that, then props to him. I don't know who would have ever thought of that. But uh, I mean, to resist that low kick, I really don't have a great option. Do I want to save my Empoleon for any reason? It might not be a terrible idea to save my employee, honestly, but I... I don't want anything else to get knocked off of after this. I only have one thing that speeds, which is my Thunderous. Man, I don't like his team. His team just pains me. Let's see, but with what he brought, honestly, he has four things that take on my Avalog Pro. So I'm going to go into Avalog here. I have Rocky Helmet. I'm just going to get some damage off on that Rocky Helmet. He does, like, no damage, so I am okay with this. He's probably going to go for a knockoff here. I'm just going to recover on up, keep my sturdy. If he knockoffs here, he'll be within rocks range, so he cannot switch out, and he will not be doing any damage to me. So I, he'll either switch here to save his, his little Sneasel Weavile fake. Or nope, yep, there's knockoff. So he's going to take damage. He cannot switch out now. I recover on up. At this point, like I said, he can't switch. So there's really no point in me. Making switches here, he's just he's probably just gonna knock off or low kick again there. So I'm just gonna fire off an avalanche to kill him off. Oh, he got a crit, of course, he got a crit. Why wouldn't he get a crit? Yeah, I mean, I fully expect his Heatran to come in here or his uh, or his I can't remember what that thing is called. The uh, Brion's evolution, uh, no, Gudra comes out. Uh, Primarina is what I was thinking of there. So Gudra comes on out. I'm honestly kind of shocked. Obviously Gudra is still faster than me, so I mean, he, if, he, if he has Flamethrower, he's perfectly fine there. But I really didn't think he would go into Gudra. It just doesn't seem like his best switch. That's just, I guess that's with my personal opinion there. Uh, he doesn't know what type of an Empoleon I am. Like I said, my Empoleon really is not super helpful. I'm just going to switch back into my Empoleon, let it go down. Yeah, there's that flamethrower, which I do live. So, if he thinks I'm a fast Empoleon, he might switch again here. Oh, I see, he'll more likely just take me out. Oh, I'm going to hit a knockoff. Yeah, there's that Dragon Pulse. So, he is faster than me, which I expect. I'm a very slow Empoleon. I don't think I have any speed investment. I might, I might even be negative speed for some reason, I think. So, that goes down. At this point, I really don't think I have any 
super huge restriction while I go into. Obviously, my Thunderous does not have a great matchup, but outside of that, everything else can come in pretty freely. Avalon can't come in just because of being way slower and dying. And everything else I have can take a hit or hit back fairly hard. It could be a good time here just to go into my ride, honestly, and stuff. I have a Rock Polish ride on three attacks this week. Could be a fun time just to go in, take an Ice Beam. I'm assuming he has Ice Beam. But uh, in case he has a grass move or anything, I'm just going to do a safe switch here. I'm going to go into my Meltank there. I am a Curse Meltank. I'm pretty specially defensive. If he has Superpower, I'm more than free to go for it here. I'm going to set up a Curse right away, though. See what he goes for. Yep, there's the Dragon Pulse. Okay, so he is very attack-oriented, obviously, as he just kind of showed there. I'm going to go for a Milk Drink here to see if he outspeeds me after one or whether I still outspeed him. Just to kind of check his speed. I think he'll also be me, so going for Milk Drink here will be my better choice. That, or if he might switch out here, I can see what his switch is and what he's going to do. Alright, so he does go for the Dragon Pulse again. I'm just going to Milk Drink on up to full, basically. At this point, I'm going to fire off a Body Slam. See how much damage it take. Ooh, that does good damage. Gooey will slow me down even more. That's fine, I'm already slower than him. Doesn't really affect me very much. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a second Milk Drink Light here, just to get back up to full. And based on the first roll, I'm assuming a second Bite Slam is going to kill him here. So it should, yep, alright. So I'm only at plus one, obviously. I'm not going to sweep his team with this thing by any means. But I have shown, I think, that I am fairly defensive. Yeah, if he's like specs on this uh, Grimmer right here, he very well still could take me out. I'm very tempted to keep this Meltank alive just for the sake of it pretty fairly walls that uh, Heatran there, but honestly, my Gigalade and my Rhydon both do fairly well against that. Prob depending on his Heatran side, I could outspeed his Heatran if he's like no speed with my Rhydon even before boosting. So I'm just going to go, yeah, I'm just going to go for a bite sign here, see if he can take me out. He can't. Yeah, so there's that bias slam. Okay. No para, unfortunately. I didn't get any paras. I had three, three different chances to get the para, which I could have tried to curse up and just keep on milk drinking. He will kill me here unless he gets like a really low roll. I'm gonna go for. Uh, actually, I don't think there's any real reason for me to go for a. Let's see. If I go for a milk drink. I wouldn't gain enough to reckon just keep on milk drinking up on some go for a buy slam. If I live, I live. I do live on one. Oh man. I love that honestly, because now he has to show what he wants to come into. This is what this is great for me. <laughs> You'll see in the chat here in a minute when it keeps on scrolling up that he has typed out. He's like, what a joke. Which I kind of agree with him on that one. That is terrible. That that role is bad for him, obviously. But uh Yeah, that's a huge bummer there. Uh, at this point, this is really the only thing that Zablog is good for left. I'm going to kind of predict here. I think he's going to go into Heat Train. I'm going to hit Earthquake here, saying he's going to U-turn or just hard switch. He could go for Poison Jab. I still think Poison Jab won't be a 2-co, so even if he does, I should be able to kill him off before he kills me off. And like I said, the only reason this was here is for his physical attackers like Sneasel and Beedrill, which he only brought the 2 and one's dead, so I'm okay with this. If he is willing to let me kill off his... Yeah, so he does go for that poison jab. He gets the poison, though. That's a huge bummer. Yeah, that's a pretty huge bummer, because now that means he just kind of has a really free poison jab here again. He will kill me. If he didn't get that poison, there's a good chance I still could have lived a second one. So that really does suck. These random poisons and stuff that he's getting me are really kind of taking a toll, because otherwise I felt like I would have been... In pretty decent control of the game at this point if he hadn't, although I think at this point, Len, this is going to be my chance where I'm, I'm going right into my ride on once he kills me off here. And I'm going to just hit that rock polish and see what happens here. I have Ice Punch for the Women's Cut. I do have Stone Edge and Earthquake, so if his Heatran is Air Balloon, I can ice, either Ice Punch or try and Stone Edge, depending on what I want to do. He is still going to be faster than me, though, so I'll have to be careful here. Let's see. Drill run? Okay, yeah. So I do live. I'm going to rock polish up once here. I could just rock polish again to outspeed him. If he's not 
if he's adamant or if he's not max speed, I will outspeed him. So we'll see what his speed is. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go for that EQ. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't have a very fast team. My fastest thing is my my Mega Glade, so there's really no reason for him to be max speed timid or I mean jelly or whatever. So I kind of expected that even at not being able to reach his max speed, I'd be fine to outspeed him. He pretty much has to go into his whims got here. Uh, like I said, I have Ice Punch, which is a pretty good... Oh, does he have Air Balloon? He doesn't. He must have Shooka. Either way, Earthquake's my better move. He has Shooka. He does live and goes for that Flash Can and takes me out. Okay. That's a bummer, but... Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to go into my Mega Gallade here. I'm going to Mega on up. Yeah, I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for an Ice Punch, I guess. It should kill him still. Let me just double check that. So Mega Gallade. Sword Stance, I'm Jolly, I think. Or, actually, no, I'm not Jolly, I'm Admin. Ice Punch on a Heatran. Let's say, even if he is defensive. This isn't defensive, but Ice Punch does nothing. You're joking, man. Even if he's not defensive... Ice Punch doesn't kill him, so I can't. I have to go for that close combat. Which is a huge bummer there. Well, I guess this... Uh... It's interesting, because if he has Moonblast here, he might be able to kill me. Or he probably will be able to kill me, so let's see. But who's a cat? Let's say Life Orb. Moonblast will kill me even if I didn't have the drop, so that really does not affect much. I mean, it was a roll if he didn't have the drop, though, so that, that could matter. Um, Outside of that, though, Thunderous will be able to kill him. I don't think he has any one move that can kill my Thunderous, so I'm going to go ahead and just Poison Jab here. Moonblast will take me out. Go on my Thunderous here. Our Ice is by far my best play. Almost takes him out unless he gets a crit here. Uh, yep, I am perfectly fine. And we are going to take the 1-0 victory over Ginger here. That was a very, very good game. If I wasn't Scarf there, which I almost wasn't originally, I was almost uh, set up Z-move. That could have been interesting because, obviously, he had 40 on the roll. So depending on what exactly his set was, potentially, he could have 2 code me. So I'm glad I did end up bringing Scarf, even though he had stuff like Gliscor on his bench that he, uh, that he didn't bring. So I am very curious to see after this match, what his final sets were on a lot of his stuff, just because there's a lot of things that could have gone out of the way. A little bit of hacks on both sides between I li me living on one of my mail tank and him getting a couple different poisons and stuff, but overall, I think it was a f very fun match on both sides. I think it was, it's about as well fought as it could have been. We very close match. Uh, I will go ahead and put Ginger. I know he has a YouTube, and he does team builders, which I obviously don't do, and puts a lot more effort in than I do, so I'll put his link in my description here. I think everyone should go check him out. Great guy, and then uh, if he has Twitter, which I think he does, and everything else, I will um, go ahead and check out uh, what else I can put in the description of him. But otherwise, uh, hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit for next battle.